Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. The landing was smooth, exactly what you'd expect from an experienced Air Force pilot on a clear day. The first C-130J aircraft arrived this afternoon at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station with seven more on the way. It's hoped the new planes will cement the military operation in Vienna and the 2,000 jobs that come with it for decades to come. The first C-130J arrives. It's our top story tonight. The C-130J was first spotted in the western sky at 2.55 p.m. after leaving earlier in the day from the Lockheed Martin plant in Marietta, Georgia, where it was built. With four C-130Hs, some 35 years old, parked on the runway, the new C-130J first did a flyover. It then circled back around and at 3.03 p.m. landed safely, officially becoming part of the 910th airlift wing. It eventually worked its way to just outside the main hangar where a crowd of 250 people waited to greet it. As the crew made their way inside, they were given a standing ovation. Oh, come on, Youngstown, Mahoney Valley, you can do better. During the ceremony that followed, it was made known that the newest plane of the current fleet arrived in 1994. Marking 30 years since the 910th received its airlift wing designation and a brand new aircraft has arrived at the installation. That changed today. Youngstown Air Reserve Station is in an era of transformation to ensure the combat readiness of every 910th airman. Among those speaking was commander of the 910th, Colonel Mike Maloney, and commander of the 22nd Air Force, Major General Melissa Coburn, who was also the pilot of the first flight. I'm going to take just a minute real quick to say thank you to Colonel Maloney. I thanked him in private earlier, but it's his airplane, and he let me fly it here. <laughs> we went inside to see where the cargo would go and the crew would sit. This was the view from the cockpit. The C-130J will use less manpower, can climb faster and higher, and take off and land in a shorter distance. This aircraft will enhance our operational efficiency, allowing us to respond more swiftly and more effectively to both humanitarian and combat operations worldwide. The second C-130J will arrive before the end of the year, and the remaining six will be delivered over the next three years. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.